Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the June Keys Penguin Habitat. My name is Michelle, and if you notice, we have some additions to our exhibit that are not penguins. Those are our divers, and they're cleaning our windows as well as our underwater camera. We have two cameras here, one up top, one on the bottom underwater, and those are through explore.org. And so it's a great way that we can uh, kind of have the outside public be able to learn more about our animals. So if you are ever out and about and you want to see what happening with our penguins at any given time these cameras do operate 24 7 it's just sometimes it during the night it's a little dark and hard to see and you can just see kind of shadows uh, you can see that the penguins are uh, spending a lot of time in water but also coming up on deck the penguins are right now in their ending their migratory season so they're going to be doing a little bit of both uh, they see me up here so they know I'm safe. Uh, the strange things in the water, cleaning the windows, they're not too sure about. We do this periodically just because we do need to keep their exhibit clean. So what we'll do is have the divers come in, clean the windows, and then the next couple of days we'll actually clean the, uh, the ground with the power scrubber. And it's a way that we can make sure that not only do you have a great look for our exhibit, but it's nice and clean for all of our animals. Now the water temperature in this exhibit is around 65 degrees, so those wetsuits are doing really a uh, nice job of keeping our divers warm. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes for our divers to clean all the windows, and as well as the uh, dome that houses the camera. Now we do have 23 penguins in this exhibit, 20 adults and 3 juveniles. Easiest way to tell them apart is if you look over here, this is our little, uh, I think this is D. Uh, that could be if she has a red red bead on her on her wrist on her uh, band that is D if she has a brown that would be Cleo now all these penguins do have those specialized bands and that is how we tell who's who we can also kind of do it by personality types cuz each penguin has their own distinctive personality but those uh the youngsters you can tell the difference because they don't have that in distinctive double black bar across their chest they will get that once they go through their molt. But like I said, right now they're in their migratory uh, phase of the year, and that just means they spend a whole lot of time in the water. Soon they'll start coming up on deck, start looking at these nest boxes, because breeding season is next. They'll start looking for mates if they have not already paired up. Penguins do mate for as long as that mate is around, so we do have some already bonded pairs, but we have some females that have not bonded with anyone, so it will be interesting to see what happens this year. Well, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sign off because I don't think our education staff out there has a microphone. Um, if you have any questions, you can try to yell them over. Uh, we have competing uh, shows going on so I may be able to hear may not but if you do uh, and if you have a very loud voice I may be able to answer So the question was, why do bubbles come off their backs when they swim? Penguins are built for water. What they do is they actually work, when you see them kind of moving around on uh, the surface, they're actually working air in between those feathers. Much like a wetsuit keeps a diver warm, their feathers, how thick they are, they're about 70 feathers per square inch. They actually work air into those feathers. So when they dive down deep, those air bubbles come out of the feathers and then they have to put them back in. So that that's why you're seeing like a stream of air bubbles coming out from them. Well, hi guys, are you going to come over? I don't have a bucket full of food. I'm so sorry. It's not time yet. You have another, I would say another two and a half hours.
Now you'll notice that some penguins are very comfortable being up on deck with me. These are penguins that we've raised. Uh, we've had 13 um, offspring here at the aquarium. We do uh, send our penguins out to other facilities depending on the need of the genetics. We work with the SSP coordinator and what that means is that we work to make sure that the genetic viability of the North American population of penguins is as, as, as uh, broad as it possibly can be. So uh, little ones like Admiral Fancy Pants here, um, he came to us from a different facility. We swapped them, one of our penguins. Here comes Andy. Hi, Andy. No, I don't have anything for it. Uh, but all of these penguins we either started with or they were uh, hatched here or they came from other zoological facilities uh, to betterment of the uh, species. Whatever. I have no food. I'm so sorry. Whatever is our oldest penguin and our smallest And she decided, forget it. Hi everyone, so you may see the penguins kind of fighting each other with their bills and that is a normal uh, behavior for our penguins. It's a way that they can control who's dominant. It's a way to say hello depending on if it uh, is followed by allopreening where they start to preen each other. But especially during this time where they're starting to stay up on deck a little bit more, they're going to start looking at nest boxes to see which one they really want. And you may see some, uh, some little uh, tiffs happening here and there. That's normal for these penguins. They're built for it. Their beaks are extremely strong. Oh, it looks like we have our divers coming up, so I'm actually going to get off mic so I can help out. Uh, but that is a normal behavior, especially the aloe preening, where they're preening each other. <laughs> 